Today's best music. Magic 89.9. What's up, everyone? It's Hannah here from Wake Up Manila on Magic 89.9. I hope you're all awake and excited because today is a very special day. We get to talk to Dua Lipa herself. Yes! Singer, songwriter, fashion icon, and of course that lady that taught you how to get over that crazy breakup. That's the one. We all know her. We all love her. And I'm so excited. I hope you guys are as well. So let us know in the comment section below how you are feeling. And stay tuned for more. Today we're going to talk about Studio 2054. Today's Us Music Magic 89.9, it's Hannah here. Joining me is the beautiful and talented Dua Lipa. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. It's a little bit early. I've been in, in dance rehearsals all week, um, but I'm so excited to, to talk to you and tell you guys all about it. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I just wanted to congratulate you for your upcoming online concert. So looking forward to it. So I wanted to kick off by asking, how did the concept of Studio 2054 come about? Yeah, well, it, it, I guess it came to be more so to the fact that my um, tour got postponed for the second time because of the pandemic. And um, me just really wanting to get on stage and get out in front of like, an audience, unfortunately, it can't be a live audience, but it's, um, you know, all everybody at home virtually, basically. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited because life has felt somewhat normal, being able to go into rehearsals every day for a month, being able to dance with my dancers and really practice, which has also been such a luxury because I never get the opportunity to rehearse something for this long and really, really prepare something you know, um, as extensively as this. And so it's such a mixture between, you know, we have all these custom built sets, which we're building in a warehouse here in East London, which goes from like an 80s TV studio to like a rave to a roller rink to, you know, it's, it's just like all these crazy worlds that we're building around it to be able to um, bring you guys, the viewers on a journey, you know, throughout the whole process. And that's including guest performers and guest appearances and it's really quite a spectacle with so many incredible people joining and it really is going to be such a blast I'm, I'm i'm so over the moon so excited all of your fans are so excited to see you perform again this is going to be so exciting could you share with us some stories behind the process of creating and rehearsing for studio 2054 um god stories i mean it's been it's been really relentless it's been non-stop uh work it's been um, five, six hours of just dancing and choreography every day, making sure that I'm able to dance and sing at the same time, trying to build up my stamina, doing it. It's like a boot camp. It's just like, okay, we're running it. And then we go again, and then we go again, and then we go again. And I keep telling myself, I'm like, it's never gonna be as hard as this because we're gonna get in between. There's gonna be you know, other people involved and there's gonna be moments. So I'll get a second to like breathe but I've not given myself that opportunity while I'm rehearsing because I want to make sure that no matter what, I can just keep going, just keep going, just keep going nonstop. Um, and for that, it's been really exciting and really relentless in that way. But um, I, uh, you know, it, it's, it's been really cool because I've had the opportunity to collaborate with um, so many incredible artists and also in such an unconventional way as well, you know, trying to create this world and figuring out ways how we could make it interesting in order for like our music to work together. And it's, it's been really amazing. It's really kind of opened up my eyes and the creative aspect of it has been so fun because I'd never be able to do something like this in like, let's say a like arena show, you know, you, you, there's only so much you can do there to make sure that the audience are getting everything. Whereas when you have the possibility of, almost having your own TV show and having a camera like follow you around all these crazy sets and your possibilities are completely endless. It makes it really exciting. And so I want it to be something that feels just as exciting watching it at home as it does, you know, as it would be if you were there, because obviously the, the possibilities of having people there is impossible, you know, unless you're part of the crew and everybody that's been uh, bubbling and has been tested and everybody that's being safe. And so I really want to bring that spectacle at home for everyone to really enjoy and to, you know, I want it to be filled with surprises and get really people really, really excited. Cause I think this um, new idea of 
live streaming a show is of course it's so new and so we're all kind of figuring it out as we go along but when I think of it in my head and I'm like I'm literally being allowed to have the reins on like my own tv show with my own guest performers and my own guest appearances I'm like okay this is this is something I can do uh yeah it's it's been it really has been such a blast Six hours of dance sounds like a super intense workout. You look amazing. And it seems like the entire production team is just one big happy family. I'm sure it'll translate really well on stage. I wanted to ask though, which song from Future Nostalgia are you most excited to perform and why? Um, well, to begin with, I'm excited to, to perform a lot of those songs because it'll be the first time I'm performing them. Um, so I've not had the chance to do that yet, but I'm extremely excited to perform Pretty Please. Um, it's one of my, it's one of my favorite songs on the record. And, um, I just, I feel like I've gotten so confident in myself as a performer and as an artist and as a dancer. And I feel like all these things are kind of coming together and with something like Pretty Please, um, it really is just such a fun song and I feel like I really get to live in the moment with that one so I'm really looking forward to that. We are so looking forward to seeing the album come to life. Is this the first time for you to have a virtual concert? Are you more nervous or excited? Do you prefer live shows or virtual personally? Um, well it is my first ever live stream live show in, in, in like this virtual sense. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely very, very, very excited. We've been rehearsing so much that I like know deep down that I know it in my sleep. So there's nothing to like be afraid of, but the second it goes live and we're on camera, my heart is going to start jumping out of my chest. My adrenaline's going to rush and I'm, I'm going to be just like in a complete like form of I don't know, excitement and ecstasy. And it's just going to be nuts. You know, I, I, I don't even know what to expect, what's going to happen when the, you know, when we go live. Um, so there's always going to be adrenaline and excitement, especially with everyone watching at home. But um, yeah, we'll see, you know, for me, because I've never done it before, the, the live element of being able to feel people's, people's energy and hear them and see them and, you know, move with them and react from them is very different you know I, I give back the energy that I get whereas this is going to be quite a different you know um experience in in the sense that the only people that I will have energy to feed off on will be the dancers around me you know and the, the atmosphere that we create around so I need that to be really pumping and at 110 percent, so I can then just give it more and more so when people watch it it almost feels completely just like a live show as if people were really, really there. And so that's kind of what I'm, I'm going to try and, and um, portray, you know, it's all, it's all depending on the feeling that you get while you're performing. We are all evolving with the times and it's definitely going to be a different type of experience and energy that we're all looking forward to. You visited the Philippines a couple of times already. We sing your songs every time you come here. We love you. And we've watched you grow and evolve as an artist. Your music interprets music from the past differently and uniquely. Can we expect the old and new combining together in music at this online showcase? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, from, you know, samples that I've used um, you know, with my musical director that we've put into the tracks to make things a lot more, you know, interesting and exciting and uh, to give you a little taste of something that that people might have heard before. And there's, there's a lot of that going on. You know, it, it wouldn't be um, a live stream for Future Nostalgia if it didn't have that kind of mixture of the two. Um, I think that's incredibly important for me, especially with this record. I feel like I've tried my best to try and marry those two things. Um, whether it's in presentation, <clears throat> excuse me, whether it's in presentation or in, in, in uh, the musical sense or in the set design or whatever that is, there's always going to be that kind of juxtaposition between old and new, something you're going to know, something that you, it's going to be completely different, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Anticipation is building up and we're all getting so curious. Can you share with us any special guests of Studio 2054? So I've still got uh, lots more to announce. 
but I'm going to, uh, well, Angèle is a French singer who I've collaborated with on a song called Fever. She'll be joining me live in London. Um, FKA Twigs, who's a friend of mine. Your latest song, Prisoner, is such a bop. I was just dancing to it in my room a little bit earlier. I love the retro vibe, and I'm so excited to hear you and Miley Cyrus live. This is like a dream collaboration. Speaking of retro, your future nostalgia album was inspired by retro synth and electronic music, but fashioned into something dark and inspired. So how did you decide which influences of the past works best when combined with modern music? Um, I think it's kind of that, that element of uh, a TV show, you know, making it interactive enough, but uh, not to the sense where I, I would be. I, I think it's quite difficult to almost address an audience that's not there. And so we're going to do it in the form of being able to bring certain people in, guest appearances, guest performers, little, little moments that kind of make it really engaging and fun. There's gonna be little Easter eggs all around, things that you might remember, things that might feel reminiscent, people that you might not expect to be in there that will be there that, you know, there's all, all, all kinds of fun, exciting stuff incorporated in it. And alongside that, you know, there's music going throughout. So if anything, it'll be a really, really fun night at, you know, at home with your loved ones, you can have a couple drinks, watch some TV, have some fun, you know, we're, we're bringing the show to you. And I think that's, that's kind of the, the, the main thing is that you don't have to do absolutely anything, just enjoy it. We all trust your taste when adapting to influences of the past, because it just seems like each song you produce gets better every single time. So what have you done differently to prepare for the online showcase? Instead of getting ready for regular shows, do you think there's an advantage as an online showcase that offline showcase that we're used to doesn't have? Well, I guess one advantage I think of the whole thing that has been was all this kind of time that I've had to be able to just rehearse. You know, I've had days where every single day I've been getting into the dance studio constantly rehearsing which on a normal day would never ever happen um I would never have the luxury of all this time to be honest to be able to perfect it to this degree which makes me really excited because now to some extent I'm like okay I've got some moves and some stuff in my body that if we were to go on tour tomorrow I would be ready to start mapping it out on how it's going to be on stage and changing it up a bit um and to be honest, especially with my first record, I had absolutely no time whatsoever to prepare for anything. So I was constantly on the go, constantly going either promo or tour or music video, whatever it was that I would go on TV and having had rehearsed for 30 minutes before at the TV studio. Like I would have just like tried to figure out where I was going to stand, what I was going to do, how they, you know, where they wanted me to stand, blah, 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 blah. And then I would go and perform my song, but I would never feel like I had reached my full potential because I like to... For me, I feel like I know how much I need to rehearse and prepare in order to be the best version of myself. And I don't think I got all that time and opportunity to be able to do that um, with my first record. And so for this time, I've really pushed that no matter what I do, I need to have ample amounts of time to just be able to perfect it so I can really be a good performer as well as just you know an artist and a songwriter. You know, I wanna be able to really perform these songs. I'm sure that the online concert will feature an incredible view of the stage and performers, so we're looking forward to that. I also know that whenever you visit the Philippines, we are always singing at the top of our lungs in your live concerts. So loud, screaming, fangirling. How do you think the lack of physical crowd will affect your performance? Have you made any sort of adjustments to your usual style? Well, it's definitely a fun, energetic show all the way through. I feel like, obviously I would love for everyone to get up and dance with me and just have a good time. Cause we're just, that's, that's the energy that I'm hoping to just like feel through the, through the camera. Um, and of course, you know, there'll be moments where I, I would love people just to kind of see the, the show that we've put on. We've worked so hard on all the sets and stuff. So I really want everyone to like take it in. I mean, it's, it's, all the way through there's something happening non-stop you know I, I'm, I'm, I promise I'll never let you get bored um, so uh, yeah 
it's it's fun it kind of it depends bring the popcorn bring the drinks get your dancing shoes on a little bit of everything that's gonna be in there I'm going to be one of those people dancing and singing with you throughout the concert. I promise you that. And it's happening on November 27th. You're also releasing Future Nostalgia Club Future Nostalgia 2 CD Japanese edition, which includes two bonus tracks on the day of Studio 2054. So much is happening. I can't keep up with you. How excited are you to offer both of these to your fans? I'm really excited. For me, you know, I, I love being able to constantly put music out. I've, you know, I feel like even with my first record, I kept just adding songs to the record I put out at Deluxe. And then I was like, oh, well, I have more songs. And I think it's during the process of when I'm writing my album, I'm constantly just writing songs. And with this album, I was very almost cutthroat in the sense of like, okay, I want to, I want it only to be things that really felt like fitted with this record. But then there's songs that I really love that I was like, okay, I'm going to put these out later and then I'll add them to the deluxe. And then I'll put these out as bonus tracks. And the more music I could put out, the better, you know? And then once I kind of, I'm, I've put out all the music that I wanted to put out, then I'm ready to kind of get ready with the third album, you know? So for me, it's, 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 you know, putting out as much as possible just because it's fun for me as well. Thank you so much, Duo. We love you at Magic 89.9. Your songs are always Thank number you, one in our Pop 30 list. And we are all looking forward to Studio 2054 happening on November 27th. You guys are tuned in to today's best music, Magic 89.9. That wraps it up. Thank you so much for listening, everyone, and watching. Of course, Dua Lipa is the sweetest, so beautiful, so kind, and so talented. So her upcoming online concert is happening on the 27th. Again, it's called Studio 2054. If you want to follow us online, it's at Magic899 on Twitter and Instagram. Also, Facebook.com slash Magic899. And if you like what you see, you like this video, like, share, and of course, spread the Dua love. <laughs> if you want to follow me online, it's at Hannah Bacani on Twitter and Instagram. See you guys soon. And of course, thank you so much for listening to today's best music, Magic 89.9.